Update 5 on Super Typhoon Haiyan, which has strengthened over the past 12 hours or so, now with wind speeds of 190 miles per hour sustained, with gusts possibly as high as 230 miles per hour. Pressure of 895 millibars, and its current position is 10.2 degrees north, 129.1 degrees east, um, approaching the Philippines with some venom. Uh, certainly the strongest storm we've possibly seen in years. And it will be the strongest landfall we've seen in years as well, with a Category 5 landfall on the cards for the eastern Visayas region. It's certainly going to be a catastrophic storm um, in that region near the epicenter of the landfall when it does occur in the next 12 hours. The storm will move out to sea over the South China Sea, still as a strong typhoon, and eventually make landfall in Vietnam as a typhoon. So we currently have Signal 4 warnings in effect for most of Samar, Leyte, Northern Kebu, Capiz, Aklan and Northern Antique. Signal 3 warnings in effect for most of the Visayas regions you can see they're marked in red. Not enough time to go through them on this video. Um, and Signal 1 and 2 warnings in effect for other regions around there as well towards the north and south of that um, immediate vicinity. So the probabilities for typhoon conditions in the next 48 hours certainly very high in the eastern Visayas region. I think it's almost a given certainty that we will receive uh, strong typhoon conditions over there, 115 miles per hour or higher, and that may extend further into the western Visayas region as well um, over the next 24 to 48 hours. So this is the current sea surface temperature picture around 28 degrees where the storm is located and that's been the case for a while. That's why it's been able to intensify so much along with other favourable conditions going its way. Um, and as it passes through the Philippines and beyond, temperatures will begin to fizzle out just a little bit and that will mean the storm will begin to weaken. The CMC model then first of all uh, dips the storm a bit further to the south which is a little bit of a twist on what we've been seeing recently uh, possibly affecting the northern Palawan region of the Philippines and then moving towards the west northwest making landfall in Vietnam with two new storms out there as well in the Indian Ocean and in the South China Sea. The GFS forecast model takes the storm just a little bit further north through the Visayas region of the Philippines clipping the northern uh, part of Palawan region and then out over the South China Sea making landfall in central Vietnam in the next few days with a new storm forming out to sea, uh, a fairly weak one uh, near the western coast of the Philippines. So this is the latest satellite imagery. You can see how a ferocious storm it is as it's passing towards the west-northwest, curving just a little bit more towards the west over the past few hours. You can see quite clearly here on this um, imagery a very well-defined storm. It certainly seems justified of its 190 mile per hour intensity. And you can see some very strong spiral bands moving into the Philippines now, the eastern coast of the Visayas region and possibly northwestern Mindanao as well. And you can also see almost a perfect donut shape there um, around the eye certainly a very intense core around the eye there so wherever the eye wall lands or makes landfall we'll probably see some very intense conditions especially on the leading edge of that eye wall when the storm makes landfall in the Visayas region in the next 12 to 24 hours. So as of November the 7th of 2013, not much else going on at the moment. Haiyan is the only storm out there. We do have two disturbances which could develop into tropical um, cyclones over the next few days. Invest 90A in the Arabian Sea and Invest 97S on the other side of the equator in the South Indian Ocean. In the Pacific Ocean, you can see Haiyan there, a very intense storm, um, already having its influence over the Philippines. Uh, but the worst is yet to come, and it will be pretty bad where the storm does make landfall. Indeed, it probably will make multiple landfalls as it crosses over the Philippine Islands. So 2013 compared then, it's the 29th busiest season on record with 27 tropical storms if you go by these totals. They can be uh, different by which uh, agency you use um, and 15 typhoons so far and 10 category 3 storms which are 115 miles per hour or higher. In the company of 1984 just above in 28th and 1982 just below in 30th position with other seasons from the 20th century uh, just above that as well. And you can track this storm at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking html that's the main page for all the uh, information you need on this storm. There will be updates, uh, more common than these uh, video updates, but we will be doing these video updates every 12 hours as the storm moves through the Philippines and beyond. You can also find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook and Twitter, just search Force 13 on either of those mediums. You should find it fairly easily enough. There are the links there. Um, and if you do have any uh, comments or uh, questions about the current storm, obviously it is an intense storm. And if you have any questions um, regarding where it may be going next, I'll be more than happy to try and answer that for you um, in a timely manner. But until the next update, which will follow in 12 hours time, that will be at 3 a.m. UTC on uh, Friday the 8th of November. Um, and that is 11 a.m. Philippine time on the 8th of November. But until then, that's all for now, and more than ever, stay safe out there.